This is Hayes Q. Jones, your DVD and Blu-ray ball are on a budget, and this is HQ Videos for you. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe. If you're a current subscriber, you're greatly appreciated. Come on in, make yourself at home. You know the routine. This week takes me back to Dollar General and, of course, one of my favorite pawn shops, Cash America. I'm starting to find out that Dollar General the prices aren't that great but if you get the bargain bent you dig deep enough you might be able to find something so find a little something something Dollar General another kind of jackpot pickup at Cash America but before I get into what I picked up at Dollar General Pawn Shops not only do I collect movies yes I'm one of these wild individuals I actually watch them and on a weekly basis just like to share some of the things I watched either live in the theater with my family, streaming, or physical media. Let me kick it off with some physical media. This is a 2009 drama horror thriller. This is called The Killing Room. This was directed by Jonathan Liebsman, starring Nick Cannon, Clea Duvall, Timothy Hutton, Chloe Levis-Savinji, and Peter... Peter Stormar. It's a slow paced pitch. It's a slow paced movie. Most of it takes place in one venue or one room. And it starts out talking about the M um, MK Ultra experiments. Those were the experiments that happened, I believe, in the 50s and 60s, where they used to experiment on people using psychedelic drugs and other things. So it revolves around that. A little slow paced, though, but very interesting not what I actually expected on what they were looking for. So if you like that kind of slow pace suspense thriller that takes place mostly in one spot, you might like this, The Killing Room. My next pick is actually something that might actually still be out in the theaters. So uh, streaming. This is The Black Demon. This is a 2023 science fiction horror thriller directed by Adam Grunberg. Starring John Lucas, Fernanda, Levis, Yudahula, R U R R E J U L A, Yudahula. I'm, I'm guessing on that one. Julio Cesar Cedillo. This revolves around a family, a, um, a husband and his wife and his two kids. They're going to this Mexican town where he works. He works for an oil company and he has to do an inspection on this oil rig. And the last time he was there, this town is like thriving and popping. Now, not so much. And the story revolves around there and the reasons why the town has kind of died. Kind of cool science fiction thriller. You don't really get to see... Again, I don't want to give too much, uh, too much away. You don't really get to see the Black Demon that much, but the suspense that goes into it and the reason why or some of the reason why the demise of the town is the kind of overall plot of the story. Not bad, decent action, okay ending. You like that kind of science fiction, water horror thriller? You should like The Black Demon. My next pick is a 2021 action crime adventure, Vanquish. I've been looking for a physical copy of this. I actually watched this on Netflix. This is directed by George Gallo. Also written by George Gallo and Samuel Bartlett, starring Ruby Rose. You might know Ruby Rose from the John Wick franchise. He's the female assassin. You know Morgan Freeman. Everyone, everyone knows Morgan Freeman. Patrick Muldoon and Julie Lott. Again, don't want to give any spoilers away, but Morgan Freeman is this ex-cop who befriended Ruby Rose and her daughter. And he asked her to do this task, which requires her to go back to a past that she doesn't want to go to. And the story revolves around there. A lot of action. Ruby Rose plays this femme fatale, female assassin type. Not all females can actually pull that off. I think she does an excellent job of doing that in this movie as well as some other movies. So a lot of cool action, nice twist at the ending. So if you like the femme fatale action adventure, nice plot twist at the ending type of movie, you'll definitely like 2021's Vanquish. You can check it out on Netflix. 
my last pick is part of a franchise <clears throat> extremely long franchise this is the fast and furious franchise fast and furious 10 2023 release date action film directed by lewis is it letter air letter air starring vin diesel michelle rodriguez tyrese gibson chris ludicrous bridges a lot of other people but i don't want to give the spoilers away about who's in it who's not in it but this one starts out with Paris Gibson being the leader of a new mission they have in Rome and what goes on after that. Just like all the other Fast and Furious films, almost from beginning to end, nonstop action. Some of the over, of course, it's over the top action. That's what they built their franchise on. Just kind of unbelievable stunts. Little, another little tidbit of a, of a, a leak here. There will be another Fast and Furious, just the way this one ended, though. But again, you like that somewhat nonsensical, nonstop action. You'll definitely like this. Also, <clears throat> another little itsy bitsy spoiler. Rita Moreno has a small part in here. She has to be close to 100. I know she's 90 something. Looks beautiful. Aging very well. Now, with that out of the way, Without further ado, sit back, relax, have a drink, have a smoke, and I'll catch you on the other end of this video when I finish playing my, my son, my boy, some chess.
You don't like Chinese food, do you? You don't eat Chinese food, do you? Back at the Black Cave. Back at the Black Cave. We are back at the motherfucking Black Cave. Have my Dollar General pick here. I also have some pawn shop pickups as well as my 3D pick for the week and my classic pick. So give me a minute. Let me get these scanned in and we'll get right into it and get you good people on your way. Hold on. All right, we're going to jump into what I picked up at um, General the Dollar. First of all, you know, I had to get my Reese's Chips Ahoy. I swear, I don't know if they put an addictive chemical in them if you crave it day and night. I don't know if it's crack, methamphetamine, though, but I love my Reese's Peanut Butter Cups and its subsidiary products, so the Chips Ahoy. But back to the issue at hand. Picked up Matchstick Men. Excellent movie. Nicolas Cage, Sam Rockwell. Let me get this open here. There we go. So, Warner Brother Production, five bucks, not a bad buy. I have the, I think I have the snap case to this, so very happy to get the upgrade. Things like 10 bucks online, either eBay or Amazon, so nice little deal here. So, I picked up at El General de Dolal, Dollar General. Let's go into what I picked up at Queen of Pawns here. Didn't have a whole lot there, but they did some, have something that I want. This is the remake of the miniseries Salem's Lot with your boy, Rob Lowe. You know, he likes him young. And this is a Warner Brothers collection here. Don't know if they have a Blu-ray to this out yet, though. I actually already had the disc, but didn't have the artwork. So basically, I paid for the artwork. Rob Lowe in the remake of Salem's Lot with Donald Sutherland. Oh, the late Rucker Howard. James Cromwell, I know that name. So not a very not a bad remake. Salem's lot. Alright, let's get into what I picked up at one of my favorite watering holes for movies. Right not too far from me. This is Cash America. And we'll start out with Invisible Children, Discover the Unseen. This is a movie about stories about children that are being abducted and made into soldiers, I believe. Not positive, though. Actually has a soundtrack to it. Very interesting. Invisible Children, update 2007. Oh, this is a whole different movie? Oh, cool. Okay, cool. We have the movie and the update. Children, weapons, children, victims. Yeah. So, might be kind of a, a, a tough watch, though, but definitely want to check this out. Invisible Children. Next, I've seen this movie in stores but not actually seen the movie itself Harrison Ford 
Greg Kinnear, Julia Orman, Sabrina. Not even sure what this is about, but I do like Harrison Ford. One of the few actors that actually has more than one mega series, Star Wars, Indiana Jones. Matter of fact, there's another Indiana Jones coming out. Man, they're going to have this dude doing Indiana Jones movies from the grave. But this is Sabrina, and this is a Paramount, Paramount release. Sabrina. Next, we have Exonerated. And I'm assuming this is about someone that is wrongfully incarcerated. You have Brian Dennehy, I think that's him. Danny Glover, Delroy Lindo. You might know him from Malcolm X. Um, Susan Sarandon. I'm not sure who these two guys are. I don't know that Aiden Quinn and David Brown Jr. don't know that familiar with this. So looks like a drama. Yeah, drama. And this is a... Who releases this? Trying to figure out who releases. I can't make that out. Can you guys make that out? Not sure who releases. Oh, MontreeMedia.com. So, a little independent one, but has some pretty big names. Oh, Blockbuster release. Exonerated. And my last pick for this week of Cash America. I can't get this damn label off. It sucks, though, but the discs are all in good shape. Avatar, The Last End Airbender, the complete book one collection. And book one is just the book of water. So I've seen the movie. I have the 3D movie, the live action movie of this. My son said he was just, he's familiar with this. It was just okay. He was never a big fan of, fan of this cartoon. But... For these, basically all DVDs and a little mini series, I pay a whopping $1.89. So, you know, I'm balling the budget. The next one, the next batch here, is also from Cash America. Let me get these out of here. Yesterday. Would you sacrifice tomorrow to remember the past? If you sacrifice tomorrow, I imagine you wouldn't be here to remember the past. So that's not like a stupid question, but that's just what my brain thinks. Um, who releases this? Is that ADV Films, another small independent distributor, but it looks like a pretty cool sci-fi Korean film. Yesterday, not familiar with any of these actors or actresses. Trapped in the future, too gruesome to ignore. So, look forward to watching this. Next, I'm, again, I've seen this in the stores plenty of times, but never actually seen the movie. Jonathan Lipnicki, The Little Vampire, a movie the whole family can sink their teeth into. So, it looks like a cute family film here. It's a New Line Cinema. A little booklet here. Other new line cinema hits. I'm gonna go over all these. Just talked about the house party things, money talks, the National Lampoon's Lethal Weapon, Sugar and Spice. A lot of these I already have. So. The Little Vampire. Next. Not a huge Western fan, but I do like some Westerns. Basically, I got it for Danny Trejo and Lou Diamond Phillips. Lou Diamond Phillips, you all know him. He was kind of pretty big in the 80s and 90s. Did stuff like um, La Bamba. Uh, I think that was my, might have been his bigger hit. The Big Kill. Nice slip cover here. And who is this? Cinegem? Who is this? Yes, a Cinegem release. That's some pretty decent low budget movies. With some known stars, some B decent B and C actors. So we'll check this out. Big Kill. Let's see. 
got this. Just kind of like something if you're doing something, you want to have something to TV to phase out on too. Just kind of space out while you're doing other things, chores around the house. 200, 200 cartoon classics. I just popped in uh, Betty Boop, which is very surreal seeing cartoons in black and white. You're so used to seeing cartoons in color. These are truly classic ones. And Betty Boop, The Three Stooges, Casper. Casper, the, the friendly ghost, Mighty Mouse, Popeye, Felix the Cat. So, saw this for the price. I'm like, yeah, I'll check this out. Add this to the collection. Four disc, all in very good condition. And it's probably Echo Bridge or Mill Creek. Mill Creek by here. Take a, take a quick look at that. Add it to my Mill Creek, Mill Creek collection. Next, we have the lovely Halle Berry introducing Dorothy Dandridge, which I haven't seen. It's an HBO Essence Reader's Pick. Dorothy Dandridge. And I'm honestly wondering, because I've seen Dorothy Dandridge, is that... Dorothy Dandridge, or is that Halle Berry? Pretty damn good picture, because I remember she has a, a movie with the late Harry Balafonte. I can't think of it, which I still haven't seen. I need to watch that, though. Beautiful, beautiful woman, both Dorothy Dandridge and Halle Berry. And this is an HBO release. Introducing Dorothy Dandridge. Next. I've seen the opening of this. I think my wife were like watching the streaming and it just looks so corny. It's just like, it's like every gangster movie trope, they kind of inserted like the first five minutes. I'm like, okay, if I ever get this, I'm not going to pay full price for this. And I got this at just the price I wanted it though. And I'll let you see what that is in a second. Superfly, this is a Sony release. I haven't watched all of it though, so maybe it gets better. So maybe I'm just giving it too harsh of an evaluation before I've actually watched it though. But I've seen the original Superfly with Ron O'Neill. I doubt very seriously if it's that as cool as that one though. But again, I haven't watched all of it. So I might be being premature in my harsh evaluation of it. Again, this is a Sony release, Superfly. <clears throat> this is one that's very funny because actually it's been in the store, I don't know for how many weeks, possibly months. I passed this by, passed this by. I thought I had the Blu-ray. I didn't have the Blu-ray. I only had the DVD. And someone told me to look at my CLZ Movies app and just check. And that's not always accurate also. But I, it said I only had the DVD. Went home and checked. Yeah, I didn't. So glad to add this, upgrade to this. And I do have War with Jet Li, Jason Statham. I have this. Good luck. Haven't watched it yet. With, um, can't think of a girl's name. Just have this now. And I have Saw. Dane Cook and Jessica, Jessica Alba. Whoops. Anything on the flip side? Nope. Oh, and just get a quick look at the artwork here. They have pretty decent artwork on the back. 310 to Yuma. Seemed like it was a little slow, slow western. I have to go back and watch this again. We'll be watching it on Blu-ray. Next. Fatal with Hilary Swank and Michael Ely. I always get Hilary Swank and the um, chick from Alias mixed up. I think that's Ben Affleck's old, old wife. Fatal. And we'll see if this works, but it has the Blu-ray and the DVD. Beautiful purple slip cover. I like that color. And this is a Lions Gate release. Fatal. And lastly, even though I have the movie, I couldn't pass this up, especially for the price. The Digi Book for the Secret Life of Walter Mitty, based on the book by James Thurber, which I believe I read read as a kid. I used to read a lot of stuff. 
very beautiful, beautiful pictures. And for probably gener Generation Z, Lifetime magazine probably doesn't mean a whole lot to you. Or magazines in general, but Lifetime was kind of the big thing back in the day. And it was cool, if I remember correctly, in the Life of Walter Mitty, they have some old clips spliced in throughout the movie. I am not a crook. Sound familiar? <laughs> uh, Cuba. This is really nice. Walter Cronkite. That's when news was actually had facts to them. So, The Secret Life of Walter Mitty. And let's see. So, all this together for this trip. Uh, let's have everything together. This Dorothy Dandridge. Back here. That. This little vampire. So, this trip to Cash America and got a excellent deal on this drum roll I paid two dollars and fifteen cents so instead of charging my dollar for the blu-rays he's charging a quarter for all of them so sometimes they cut me deals like that so not too bad so all of these all of these just from the pawn shop was less than five bucks so and we're almost through here I have my 3d pick for the week Lita uh, I think this is supposed to be like some artsy fartsy 3d I just took a glance at 3d it looks pretty pretty decent I have to actually find time and check this out Lita my 3d pick for the week and this is a archai media release sound view Patagon film so one of those distributors Lita and my classic pick for the week big fan of phenomenal music especially by some of these artists like the Lonis Monk Taj Mahal Herbie Hancock um, I'm sure they have miles in here I don't, I don't know if they have miles or not I don't know about miles with Blue Note, but these other artists, fantastic blues artists, haven't have actually watched this yet. So looking forward to watching Blue Note, little history about the label, I guess the rise and fall of Blue Note label. And just a little history, all notes is my homeboy, he plays the trumpet. I guess the actual history behind Blue Note is a certain note that you play that's so unique they've they dubbed it the blue note and that's where the my understanding of where that came from so this is my dollar general pawn shop picks for the week you know the the routine let me separate the disc from the plastic and the artwork put them where they belong and get you good people on your way give me just a minute everything scanned into my CLZ movies app that's C as in what I have here C as in Charlie's Angels L as in Lita Z as in Zombieland 2 and let's wrap this up here
these are the only things I didn't scan in. I had to put these in manually. Invisible Children. The complete book one collection of Avatar The Last Airbender and Yesterday. All right, let's wrap this up. Everything scanned in, ready to be put back in its proper place. As usual, I appreciate each and every one of you that chose to tune in, leave comments. You made it this far in the video. Give me the big thumbs up, smash the like, hit the bell. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Subscribe, 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 subscribe. Other than that, may the best of your past be the worst of your future. Everyone be safe. Deuces.